Hey everyone, it's Ryzen. And Liz. And welcome back to Let's Play Eternal Sonata. I forgot to do that. Oh, I don't even have any more. But, uh, yeah, anyway, uh... Allegretto, Falsetto, and Polka is the party I'm using for round one of the tower here. And, uh... I equipped Allegretto with the newly acquired Tyrant's Crown to boost his HP by a ridiculous 20%, plus the Recovery Orb. Yeah, that's ridiculously effective. He's got, of course, the Hell Striker. Uh, normally I have um, Shadow Assault at this point, but I'm a little underleveled, I guess. He's real close. But yeah, Falsetto, Tears Left Arm, Pocket Watch, Werewolf Choker. That is ridiculously effective, you will see. And Polka, I just upgraded her power ring to a Crimson Brooch. And gave her Earth Heal back, because, well, somebody's got to heal. And that somebody is Polka. Oh, gee, look who it is. So we got this guy again. You can tell that ran out of enemies real yep. darn early in this game. So this is the Steam Horn. He is, uh... Well, elemental weapons are effective against him. I'm playing as Polka. Oh. No, you're falsetto. What are you doing? You, like, didn't run all the way. But yeah, this guy's fuzz drop is that uh, AoE behind the enemy uh, can inflict knockdown. Uh, timing's delayed. Enemy will shake. What the hell? Did your controller turn off? We can't win. Yeah, that's probably why. Yeah, it shut off. Sorry. Okay. Anyway, wait for the uh, the boss to or the enemy to start shaking. Look at the time you get to attack. Yep, it keeps going. Still going. That was over 40 hits, folks. <laughs> okay, yeah, anyway, uh, Cheer heals an ally for 21, 27,100 HP. And Rampage is the long distance charging attack. It's a line AoE. The timing's delayed. Wait for the enemy to actually start charging. You have to time it during the charge, essentially. So anyway, we want to head west to go up to the northmost exit. So ridiculous. Come on, Allegretto, get your dark move. I think he's going to after this fight. You're not gonna beat me. Yep. Yeah, Maybe. You got it. Hey, I'm still growing, you know. Yeah, usually I have it coming into this area, but I didn't. Anyway, that's Shadow Assault, which I want to equip right away. It's going to be his new go-to dark move. It's the same as Sun Slash, so it's really good for him. But he gets some even better moves eventually. Well, he still needs the dark version of, um... Starlight Blast? Starlight right? Blast, yeah. Helps with you. Oh, there you go. Yep. Uh. Good old falsetto. Shame she doesn't have a burst mode weapon. Oh, she hit the other guy. She doesn't get one? No. That would be even more ridiculous. And Polka's just there to basically soak up experience. <laughs> I'm not kidding. She's really not going to be contributing that much. I'd like to kill this guy, too. Actually, I think i got to keep going anyway. Nope, that's a dead end. It says... Head around to the south and up the ramp. You get in our way. No, that's um, after I go up the ramp here. Yeah, Falsetto is amazing. She really is. I would like to use... Oh, well. I'll use uh, Shadow Assault eventually. He, he's dead, Allegretto. He's not napping. Polka gets to do something! Wow! She's far stronger than I remember her being with that Crimson Brooch. 
But yeah, usually Fol Folka? Who the, who the hell is Folka? Falsetto and Allegretto can usually take care of most things on their own. You're thinking of the Fock-Ups. Yeah, whatever. If that's how you pronounce their name. I don't know. Head to the east. Should be a chest over here. Should be a Cerberus Cane for Beat. One of my favorite weapons for Beat. It's even better than the uh, Flintlock Pick because... First of all, look at that attack power. But second of all, it is a uh, bubbly hat. So yeah, speed plus 10% for him. Pretty good for him. You can stack that with a bubbly hat. It's pretty awesome. Do you get it, Cerberus Canine? Yeah, that's Wink, right. wink, uh, nod, nod. <laughs> head around to the south uh -oh. and up the next ramp. Oh, we got the Garlic Dad. Yeah, that's his name. He coming. He coming for you. He coming for you. Okay, so that Garlic Fall is a long distance range circle A that can inflict knockdown. Are these uh, guys like exactly the same? Yeah, pretty much. Boring. Ah, Shadow Assault. Here we go. So, um... Did I, make your eye spin? I don't know, did you? Let's see. Scattering Burp is that melee or long-range AoE with slightly delayed timing. He'll rear back quickly. Uh, time the block right after that. Ow! Ow. Alright, here we go. Shadow Assault. There's no reason to use Void Edge, by the way. I don't know, did it? Heal, maybe? I'm getting there. Go build Echoes. I want to use Shadow Assault. I want to see the quote. I think he says something about, like, darkness devouring you or something. Or you could kill him. I guess you punched him one too many times. I guess so. It's alright, we got one right here. Yeah, as you go up, there's more and more darkness. You don't scare me! I build echoes, so I'll run up to him. To be able to get in the darkness there, I think, if I get behind him. God, these enemies are revolting. No, the other one! <sighs> I didn't want to do that. Oh well. Just heal. Because I'm used to using Starlight Blast. Or, never mind, just hit, just punch the guy. I'll use it on this idiot. There we go. Okay. Yeah, there he goes. And you punched him in the face for good measure. I just wanted to show off that quote. It abuses me. But yeah, I hope you like hearing uh, Falsetto's poetry, because you're going to hear it in just about every battle now. <laughs> yeah, she's really good. Are we going to go on the mountaintop? Come on, go on the mountaintop. That was 56 hits. Yep, the sun is on the mountain. You got him, Falsetto. He was dead like ages ago. If you say so, Falsetto. <laughs> I think it's the power of your ridiculous fists. Yay, Polka, you get to do something. Wow, that's pretty good. No, the guy's still alive. Oh my god, you're still gonna get 24. It's funny, on the recording, as you're saying that quote, you're still punching the crap out of him. It's like a delay. I think that's it. Okay, which way are we going? By the way, elemental weapons are effective on both of them. You, you can only go one direction. I noticed. 
but I lost my place. So there's two ramps here. Uh, there's no save point yet, so we're not there yet. Let's see. Head around to the south. Oh, the, oh, there is a save point here. It's in the middle there, which I probably will use. Yeah, let's fight some more enemies, and then I guess I'll stop. We want to head up that nearby ramp, by the way. You gonna say anything? No? You just gonna sit there and do a dramatic pause? I was like, what the hell's going on? I, th I think the game was try. Ah, shoot. I think she was, uh, she was saying that ridiculously long quote, but it never loaded the dialogue. Are you missing me? He's <laughs> shooting, like, behind you. Wow. <laughs> Hey, Polka, can, can you actually do something? Wow, her normal attacks are pretty strong. There she goes. That's not too bad. <laughs> well, uh -huh. Okay! Yeah, I know. I think the save point's right here. I just, yeah. I don't feel like fighting the next boss, so... Nor do I feel like going too far in this area. Helps if you actually hit the guy. Pocket watch doesn't work too well when you punch the air. Taste, this. Taste the rainbow! Oh, no, wrong thing. Oh, come on! He dies right before I can hit them both with disruption wave. I'm gonna counter you. Told you. He's dead. Oh yeah, if I forgot to mention, you can now use special attacks to counter reds. You got that ability from party level 5 for beating waltz. It's pretty awesome. Any more? I think there might be one more. Oh! We can show off this guy right away. It's the Upart's cousin. Yeah, this is the Abyss. Oh, it's a morphing enemy. Okay. The Abyss? Come on, man! Did you actually hit the guy? This is the light form. Uh, dark weapons like the Arc Strike and the Solar Eclipse are effective. Damn it. I didn't wait. And, uh... It has Implosion, which is a mid-range circle AoE with instant timing. Dark Sun is that single targeting thing that inflicts uh, darkness body instant timing. And then it has those three drill things. Left blow, right blow, left drill, right drill. Three hit melee attack that inflicts knockdown with delayed timing. Uh, the enemy will rear back the arm first, so wait for that. And let's see. They morph into the Black Onyx, which is a dragon. Light weapons like the Lunar Eclipse are effective. Let's heal up here. Uh, anyway, they have Incinerate, which is a mid-range AoE, which is the attack where it'll groom its beak, of course. Yeah, they're not too creative with the enemies. Oh well. One so, of the... yeah. Timing is instant. Yeah, there's just a lot of pallet swaps. Lash Tail is the AoE behind the enemy with uh, instant timing. And Stifling Blow is the multi-hit melee attack that can inflict poison and knockdown. It flaps its wings and raises its head on the previous turn. So you can avoid the attack by moving out of range. Uh, that's actually a new ability. The other ones didn't have that. But... The, the actual block timing is instant. Okay, so I think we're going to stop here. Uh, next time, we'll actually go through this final dungeon. There's like four bosses we have to fight here, so yeah, it's pretty ridiculous. But yeah, this is Ryzen. And Liz. Thanks for watching. Take care.